So let's go over how to set up a Nuxt project using AWS Amplify as our backend. So quick caveat before we jump in, you're going to need Node.js version 8.11 or later. And then we're also going to have to install and configure AWS Amplify CLI. So let's go ahead and do that now. npm i hyphen g at AWS hyphen amplify slash CLI. And this will install AWS Amplify CLI globally. Okay, great. We can see here successfully installed the Amplify CLI. And if this is your first venture with Amplify, I do recommend reading over this JavaScript getting started documentation. So next up, we need to go ahead and configure Amplify. So let's go ahead and run Amplify configure. And this will have us set up an IAM user so that our local computer can connect and communicate with our AWS resources up on the AWS cloud. Okay, so we can see here I got an error, Windows cannot, yada, yada, yada. This is essentially my terminal saying I don't have permission to copy this URL for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. This will have me log into the AWS console, which I already am. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of that, return back to my terminal and hit enter to confirm that I've done so. I use US East 2. You can use whichever region is closest to you. And then for the username, I'm just going to go ahead and use the default. And I got that copy error again. Go ahead and click on the URL. This will actually walk me through setting up the IAM user within the IAM management console. If you are familiar with IAM, you can go ahead and do as you please here or do as you need here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and run through the configuration setup here, create user. And then we want to pause after that step there because we're going to need the access key ID and the secret access key. So go ahead and copy the access key ID while we're here. Return back to your terminal. Hit enter to confirm that we are logged in and we created our IAM user. And then let's paste in that access key. Hit enter, grab the secret, copy that, paste that in there. All right, I'm gonna stick with the default name of default. You can name it something else if you'd wish. And there we go. AWS Amplify is now successfully configured on our machine. As an aside, this AWS configure command is on a per machine basis. So if you go clone your project down on a different machine, you'll have to run through that setup again. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out the IAM management console and get ourselves a Nuxt project set up. So let's go ahead and do npx create Nuxt app. Or if you have a different Nuxt project that you like to use, go ahead and feel free to use that. Uh, we'll go ahead and just call this amplify Nuxt and hit enter on that. This will ask us a couple of configuration questions on how we want our Nox project to be set up. For the most part, you can feel free to answer as you wish. There's really only one question where the answer actually matters, and it's easily fixable if you accidentally select the wrong thing. So project name, stick with the default. Default description, default author. I'm going to use npm, and I'm also going to just install Tailwind. No custom server. Sure, we'll put Axios in there. Sure, we'll put Prettier in there. No test framework for me. And this is the question that actually matters a little bit. So choose rendering mode. Let's go ahead and select SPA. And then sure, I'll do the development tools. So we needed to select single page app here because ultimately we'll be hosting this up on S3. And on S3, we aren't going to have a server to utilize for our front end at all. So essentially, we can just post it up as a static site. Okay, so we can see successfully created Amplify Nuxt and it gave us some commands to run. Okay, so a couple more steps left here within our terminal. We need to CD into our project. So CD, Amplify Nuxt. And then we need to run Amplify init. I'm going to go ahead and accept the default name. And the environment, I'll just call this dev. And I use Visual Studio Code. And this is a JavaScript project. And then here, we're going to technically use view, even though this should be none. For the most part, the view defaults are pretty much correct. This is the one where it's not correct. So source directory path, just backspace out of that and put a slash in. And then everything else should be the default. And then here it's going to ask us if we want to use an AWS profile. This is what we created with the amplify configure command. So we'll hit yes select the default or whatever you happen to name your profile. And then this is going to go through and actually initialize our project up in the AWS cloud. And we can see here your project has been successfully initialized and connected to the cloud. So at this point, we have our project created up in the AWS console. Next, we need to go through the steps to connect our Nuxt project to our Amplify project that's up in the cloud. So we'll need a couple of packages for this. Let's go ahead and npm i AWS Amplify and then AWS Amplify view. Go ahead and install those. Okay, great, those installed successfully. So at this point, we're ready to go ahead and jump into our project. Okay, so there's really only two commands that we need to run in order to get Amplify set up and configured within our Nuxt project. So let's go ahead and create a new plugin. We'll just call this Amplify. And then we're going to need a couple of imports here. So import view from view, import Amplify. And then we're also going to need the remainder of the dependencies being exported from this package. So 
star as amplify modules. And this is from AWS Amplify. And then imports amplify plugin from AWS Amplify view. And then we'll also need to import this AWS exports that we have installed right here. As we progress with adding authentication and APIs to our project, this is where Amplify is going to keep track of the mappings and configurations that we have specifically for Amplify. So let's go ahead and import that file in. So imports AWS config from tilde AWS exports. Next, let's pass our AWS config to Amplify. So Amplify dot configure AWS config. And then let's install the Amplify plugins within view. So view dot use Amplify plugin. And then let's pass it the Amplify modules. Go ahead and give that a save. And then finally, we need to register this plugin within Nuxt. So let's jump into our Nuxt config, scroll down the plugins. And even though we're using Nuxt as an SPA, we'll go ahead and explicitly define this as a client only plugin. So we'll define the source as tilde plugins amplify.js. And the mode then will be client. All right, give that a save. And we should be all set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and npm run dev. So at this point, all we're expecting is the default Nuxt page and no errors. And then in the next video, we're gonna go over how to set up authentication within this project. So let's go ahead and inspect the console, give it a refresh. All right, good, no errors. So it looks like everything's set up successfully.